Thank you for the invitation. Well, you know, um, I know you were committed to getting this game sold out. <laughs> this, is a, this is the first thing I've heard about you now. Today they tell me you are committed. You are on a mission to get this game right. sold out for next Friday. That is true. Have you completed the mission? Well, I'll tell you at kickoff. <laughs> uh, counting tickets and counting noses, and we've had a lot more awareness than about a game than in the past, and uh, we've had a lot of cooperation. The Eagles have been great. Temple's been great. Everybody's been working as hard as they can, and, and the cooperation of all people has just been tremendous. Wait, wait, what was the impetus that got you, and I remember you talking to me back in the spring about that, but what was the impetus that got you wanting to do this? Well, I went to a game last year and they broke a 20, 20 game losing streak and uh, I went up to the top of the stadium and sat in the very top and and uh, looked at it and I saw a handful of people down there and I said this is ridiculous. I said if we're going to play in a stadium like that we need to fill it. And uh, I look at the Eagles and they're filled all the time and uh, so I thought uh, I could get um, the kids I coached and and get the alumni and get the students and get the faculty to get behind it. If Temple can support Temple, uh, we don't need anybody else. And I'd love to have the Subway alumni and uh, love to have the uh, forefathers in uh, Philadelphia help, but uh, there's enough people for uh, us to fill the stadium just in Temple people. Has Temple been hurt over the years by the fact that they don't have their own ballpark, their own stadium? I, I really don't think so. I, I think uh, your own stadium, uh, uh, you're taking, you're biting off a lot. And uh, where are you going to put the stadium? And you talk about parking and congestion and things of that sort. I think the link is a perfect venue. I think the Eagles have just been tremendous in, in, uh, in allowing Temple to, to be there. And, uh, and I, I, I just can, the cooperation I've seen has just been fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, this is the first year of uh, the Owls being in the uh, Mid American Conference. Um, a lot of excitement around campus again. You hear players talking about how they're more excited about Temple football right now than they have been in quite some time. Um, is this a perfect fit for this program as you see it today, this particular conference? When you look, they're going to be in, against the likes of Akron, Ball State, Bowling Green, Buffalo, so on and so forth, Western Michigan. Is this a perfect fit for this team? I, I think it is at the present time, yes. Al Golden has just done a fantastic job of uh, recruiting. And the players are so enthused, they're, they can't wait to play before more than a few handful of people. And the MAC Conference, uh, Temple will be the largest school. Temple will be uh, in a position to uh, uh, control and win that conference. And being fair to Al, the, uh, the maintain a senior class is what you have to have. Mm -hmm. And once you get the rollover, he's recruiting kids that, that are going to graduate. He's recruiting kids that are going to be there. And the enthusiasm, and the, uh, he's got more speed. And uh, I think he's got a good chance. And it may not be this year, mm -hmm. but he's, he's looking at being bowl eligible this year, winning six games. And if he does that, now the future years, uh, I see it rolling and rolling where they can be the champions. Wait, is it as simple as if you win, they will come? I mean, because there were so many years there. I mean, you had some really successful seasons, obviously, back in the 70s. And I'm trying to remember, like, what, what the support was. I know the Penn State games were huge. But, I mean, is it as simple that if Al gets his team in a couple years where they're real competitive in the MAC, that people will then want to pay more attention to it? I, I, I really think that it's a chicken of the egg. What comes first? And uh, I believe if you get 66,000 people in, this, in the stands and they play well, they don't have to win. They have to play well. And if they play well, that's one thing. If they win, it's, it's, they're all going to come back. They're going to see something exciting. They're going to enjoy what they see, and they'll be back. I mean, I'm not talking about that one game specifically, but just in general, that in if general, Al can, can get them winning, yes. that people will then I, say, hey, I, this is worth paying attention to. I, I think the division... 1A football in Philadelphia is by Temple, and the Eagles are, are here to win the Super Bowl, and the Owls are here to win the MAC Conference and be bowl eligible. And it impacts on recruiting as well. I mean, who wants to come to play uh, for, a, for a school that where doesn't draw any fans, right? Well, you don't want to play in front of an empty 
empty stadium. That's a two-edged sword. They they come because they think they can play. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and and uh, when when we had uh, when I first started recruiting, I came into town. I said, "Who's the best football player in the area?" And they said, "Steve Joachim." And uh, so I went out to recruit him, and and uh, it, he was going to Penn State, and he was going to do this, that, and the other. And I said, when it doesn't work out, call me. <laughs> and that's the way it worked out. But uh, while there, I saw the film, and I saw a guy catching the ball, and I thought, uh, whew, uh, pretty good. And uh, so I asked the coach who he was, and, and uh, would he come down and talk to me? And he walked in the back of the room, and I pointed over at him. I said, you have my first scholarship at Temple. Hadn't even said hello to him. <laughs> <laughs> and that same person has four Super Bowl ranks now, Randy Grossman. <laughs> As we continue to talk about Temple football, we just want to add this as well. Uh, next Wednesday, August 29th at 11 p.m., right here on Comcast Sportsnet, you will see the Temple football show. We call it Temple Football Forward as we get ready to kick off a new and exciting season for Temple football in 2007. 